Hey y'all, this is Ginger Knees, coach of the Vermont Venusaurs, here with week five of the PAC YouTube Draft League. This week we're taking on Cram and the St. Louis Battle Haluchas. Uh, we actually faced Cram in the playoffs last season. They beat me on their way to a title, so this should be a good one. They have a very bulky offensive team with things like Terra Annihilate, Mamoswine, Glimora, and others. And to be completely honest, I don't think that I can win a slow battle here, so I do have a lot of raw power. Let me show you the team. Uh, first off, we have Tua, our choice band Palafin. Uh, this is likely our lead. Even in its baby form, it can Oko Glamora. A Mooring Rune, also banded Roaring Moon. Our opponent only has one fairy type, so banded knock is going to be extremely strong. We have Colossus, Life Orb Golurk. Uh, only one normal type on my opponent's team as well, so Poltergeist can go pretty hard. Also, uh, Rocks could potentially get up here, help a sweep from either Moon or Palafin. We have Big Tony, our Scarf Heatran with Terra Blast Grass. Uh, every opponent thus far has used Terra Water. I expect Annihilate to do the same, so we have Terra Blast Grass for that. Uh, we have Clouds Hire, our Og Ogwav Berry, Claude Sire, uh, mostly to absorb T Spikes from Glamora and also set our own T Spikes up. And finally, we have Pro Hater, our Protect Lefty's Future Sight Hat. Uh, only one dark type on my opponent's team, and it's a Lowland Persian, so I'm not too worried about it coming. And even if it does, Draining Kiss can do a lot of damage to it, uh, so we can just spam Psychic and Future Sight. Uh, but I'll cut until we get into the battle. All right, here we are for our battle against Cram. Uh, just told me that it is Ghost Annihilate and Steel Arbeliva. Um, I was not projecting the Arbeliva. We also have uh, Milotic. We have Glim, Mamo, and Gudra. Okay, so not too different from what I was anticipating. I was really worried about Monkey Dory. We don't have to worry about that, which is great. Arbeliva. Don't have a great idea of what Arbeliva does, and it's Steel. I mean, I've played it against it previously, but. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll find out here. Um, Giga Drain, Earth Power, like Hyper Voice, Dazzling Gleam sorts of stuff. Uh, and then I also did not have Milo. Uh, but that's probably a, a defensive set as well. Let me just go ahead and lock in. I was going to lead uh, my Palafin regardless. So we'll just go ahead and do that here as we finish up. Uh, Milo, I mean, Milo could be like... If it's Coil... Scald, Ice Beam, like, uh, what's it get? Hypnosis or something? That could be worrisome. Uh, but good luck, have fun to my opponent. Uh, let's go ahead and lock this in and see what happens. Um, Cram has an incredible team here. Uh, and what I've noticed this season is, you know, all of my opponents are going to be really good. And I didn't draft the most well balanced team. Uh, so, as much as I enjoy coming up with kind of crazy stuff, uh, it doesn't always work out, but we'll, we'll see this week. Um, Terra Ghost Annihilate is really interesting. Kryptonite is Glamora, uh, as expected. Uh, thought this would be the lead. So the interesting thing here is uh, I, if it's not Focus Sash, I kill with Wave Crash right now. Uh, but I think my, my plan was always just to flip turn to see how much damage we do and then uh, eat up the spikes by going into Claude. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Um, According to my calc, if this is max HP, we should do a little over 50%, close to like 60 or so. Um, and if it's not invested and it's like a full Focus Sash speedy set, we'll do like 75, 80. Oh, just hard switch. Okay, we'll take this. Uh, so this is flip turn damage into something. Slytherin is, okay, the Milotic. Um, about 10%-ish. Yeah, that looks about right. Uh, not Rocky Helmet, which is also good. Um, into my low tick, assuming that that is as bulky as I'm thinking. This might be a good opportunity for Hat. Yeah, Future Sight plus Psychic is going to do quite a bit. Uh, the other option here would be, I don't want to tear on my Heatran just yet. The other option would be like Moon, right? But I don't think that we kill. So we'll just go Hatterene and launch off a of Future Sight. Uh, there is no Dark type on their team this week. So we can just launch these off for free. Uh, it is Marvel Scale Flame Orb uh, and is now burned. So it's going to have even more defense. Uh, but we'll go ahead with this future site here and see what happens. 
Uh, just a hard withdraw. Uh, Milo is Flame Orb. Gudra, okay. So I don't really think that there's anything that I can do against Gudra. Oh, I actually don't even have Gudra in my calc. I thought I... Oh, I must have gotten rid of something else on accident. So let's put that in here. Um, yeah, Gudra is interesting because we don't have a, a great answer. I think Golurk is probably our best bet, but I don't love that. Um, into... Let's look at my Hatterene. I mean, Future Sight is not doing anything. I have an Assault Vest set on my Calc. That's probably wrong, right? Uh, so Future Sight is doing like 25%. My other moves are not doing anything. Uh, I think I will go... Hmm. Does Claude take anything? Uh, we do a, a decent amount of damage, I think, with Claude. Uh, and can potentially get up... Well, like a Toxic Spike is not going to do as much. Um, but we can get up a regular spike early on. So let's see if we learn anything from this set as we swap in Claude. Just a body press and does 20. Okay. Uh, body press. To do 20 damage. Uh, are you max invested? If you're max invested, that actually does not do 20. So let's say a little investment here into defense. Uh, doesn't tell us too much. I do want to get up a singular spike. I think that that's going to help. Cool. Porky. Who's Porky? Is that Annihilate? Oh, Mammo. Okay. Uh, Mammo is a huge threat. A huge problem. Uh, we do have a spike up. Let's, let's mark that down. Uh, one spike. Uh, so into Mammo, I mean, I don't have a, a great switch in here. This is probably going to be just a raw, like, Ice Crash type thing. Uh, we don't... I've got Jolly Life Orb in my calc, and we do not drop... If I swip in Palafin, we do not drop to an EQ. But do I really want to, like, swap in and take an EQ right now? It might be my best bet, honestly, and I think we are going to go for it. It is a little risky early on. Uh, might be some better to, to sack something like Hatterene, but uh, I do need to see how much damage we're doing here, or how much damage we're taking, because uh, we should, we've should. we got a decent amount of HP investment here. But just a high horsepower, okay. And that does, what's that, 106 from high horsepower? Uh, 106... Um, I'm going to flip turn 106. It's very interesting. Uh, it also took the, the future site, which is great. Yeah, I'm just going to flip turn here. Uh, not entirely sure what you do, but I, I it, Ice Shard is not doing anything to me. Oh, it's Scarf. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's not good. Um... Because I could have jet punched. So Scarf High Horsepower. Um, we can go Grass here, Terra Grass here. I don't want to burn my Terra Grass right away. So if you're a uh, Choice Scarf High Horsepower into my Palafin to do 106, that's probably Adamant. Yeah. Okay, so Adamant Choice Scarf. Um, does that kill Hatterene? It does not. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. Um, we can Draining Kiss here. As you kill, we'll get like 1 HP back. But we can Protect on the next turn. Um, you probably let this go down because we do have a Spike up. Such a bummer to lose Palafin. I should have guessed Choice Scarf. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, okay. And Mammo goes down. So we traded 1 for 1, but uh, I think I... I was going to say I lost this trade for sure. However, Scarf... Um, assuming that he doesn't have another Scarf on his team, that is actually pretty big for a sweep later on. So we'll see what comes out now. God, such a bummer. I should have jet punched. Um, 
or put in my calc better. I guess I was not paying enough attention to when Future Sight happened. That is the problem of my current setup. I have my my computer with calcs are much lower than the screen I'm looking at to watch the game, so I do have to look away <laughs> to, to do calcs. Uh, I should probably figure that setup a little bit better. Uh, but with a spike up, we're actually in decent spot. So here comes Gudra again. Gudra didn't do anything last time to me after uh, it body pressed. So I'm going to protect here and just see what you're trying to go for. Uh, I don't think that it's going to set up. Like it could try to eye def or something, but uh, or acid armor, just a knockoff. So Gudra has press and knockoff. Uh, and it also has leftovers. Okay, so that's going to be... Let's make it like impish in the calc, maybe. With press, knock. Um, it might also have dragon tail or something. Um, knock into my hattering. Doesn't do a lot. Uh, I don't see any reason to take it, though. Uh, we can... I don't really want to lose anything else. I'll go back into Claude here. See if we can't figure out, again, some more information about how much damage it's doing. Knock off, that's fine. 208, that was 42. Uh, so it's really not very invested. Probably not invested at all. Um, and leftovers. Okay. So the Milo can't get um, poisoned. This can't get poisoned. Glamora can't get poisoned. But I kind of want to see how much damage we're doing here with an earthquake. Uh... I could get up another spike, but I don't think that it's going to be as worth it as something else. Um, let's see what we got here, though. Kryptonite, that was the... Ooh. This does not want to take this. Uh, this is going to die. Okay, awesome. Uh, Glim's down. Uh, it is going to get up a T-spike here because of the toxic debris, I believe. Is it just contact moves? I feel like I should know that. Uh, here comes the Arbeliva. Um, no, okay. So, no T-Spikes on our end. That's awesome. Um, so it's just... Again, Annihilate is the only other thing that could potentially be hit here. You could go Steel. Like, do you Terra Steel on me right now? Uh, Claude. I mean, we're eating up. We don't take two Earth Powers, and we are slower. Uh, but we do still do it, right? And if you tear a steel, I'm doing quite a bit of damage. I have to imagine that you're going to earth power here. Let's see. Would this be a good time to go into my Golurk? I am faster. I can't imagine that you Giga Drain on this play. So let's actually do that. I think this is a, this is a risky switch. But I, I just don't think that you would... Giga Drain on me. It's not super effective in anything except this. You could Terra Blast Steel, I guess. Sub. Okay. Cool. Cool set. Um, no healing, which is odd. We'll just go for a Dynamic Punch. Uh, it does not confuse through, obviously. Um, a Giga Drain, if you're max special attack modest oh actually because of my Ooh, okay so that didn't kill i did what was that 18 damage to myself so i was at 171 so that did 134 from giga drain and we did not see a boosting move is that 171 okay so a lot of investment but not too much else. Um, I think here, obviously the move is Dynamic Punch, but you could Terra. Uh, you don't end up with a sub, though, so I do think I'm going to bring out... Do I Stealth Rock here? 
Because you can bring out Annihilate on my Dynamic Punch, but I think that's too risky. But you might do it. Uh, I was The other option would have been, yeah, going for like a Poltergeist, which would have just been absolutely crazy, right? Um, so I don't think that I could have done that as much as I would have loved to. Uh, I think that was far too risky to go for a, a Poltergeist there. Would have been awesome, uh, but too risky. So into this, I think we go Claude. Uh, you need Ice Punch to, to do anything to me here. So we know Arbaliva has Sub and Giga. This is just a straight Rage Fist. Uh, we go from 166, so that's 37 with Rage Fist. Uh, that looks like Jolly. Ooh, actually, that does not look like Jolly. That looks like maybe no investment, like bulk up stuff, which would be scary. Uh, I'm actually going to go for a T-Spike. Ooh, nice play. Okay. So Annihilate has Fist and Taunt. Because obviously you want me to hit you. Um, so knowing that damage from last time, does my hat die? I don't think so. Uh, I don't want you to go for it, though. Hmm. I think here, well, I don't really want to sack Colossus because that is a good Arbaliva switch. We're getting to a point, we're close to just being able to EQ through everything with Banded Moon. I think if we're going to sack anything... Yeah, if we're going to sack anything, it needs to be the, the Hatterene. Bulk up, okay. That almost certainly kills now. If you're Terra Ghost. Let's see. Yeah, Future Sight still does a lot. So I can't protect here and get anything from this. So I will just go for the Future Sight uh, and let you kill me. And then we get the free switch. Uh, at this point, though, I'm not sure that a free switch is going to matter. But even if you're no investment here at plus one, a Rage Fist with no, no hits is still going to kill. Uh, so it comes down to what your last move is, right? I would assume the last move is probably Drain Punch. And here's the Terra. Uh, yeah, with Terra Ghost. So, because he's terroring here, that does make me think that this was probably no attack investment, or very little attack investment, uh, and you felt like you had to Terra Ghost in order to kill. Okay. So, Heatran. I don't think my Heatran KOs with one shot. From here, we need a little bit more damage. So we can go into Claude. We're unaware. Uh, Earthquake, I think, will do enough. Uh, it's definitely out damaging the Drain Punches. Of course, we are going to start unintentionally doing more damage here. Uh, but we'll just go for EQ. Try to get a little bit of damage here. Taunt is fine. Uh, change this Rage Fist up to 100 base power now. How much are we doing? That's enough. That's enough, honestly. Um, one more... A Rage Fist right now still does not KO me.
Okay, this is... I think there is still a path to victory. I'm not sure quite what it is yet. I really wish I had gone for the read, um, going for Poltergeist. Oh, on the, the Annihilate switch in, that would have been nasty. Is this bulk up rest? Because if this is bulk up rest, I'm completely screwed. If you are just Rage Fist and rest, I'm 100% screwed. Because I've hit you twice now. Rage Fist is at 150. That will kill me. Um, I have to do whatever I can. I, I'm... Okay. If you let this happen, that's fine with me. And it's going to KO here. Uh, I believe you're plus two, plus two. Let me just look. Roaring Moon. If you're like Culberberry, I'm completely screwed there. So we will go Heatran. Uh, I have in my calc max HP. And if we do that, does Terra Blast? Does not kill. Steel Beam gets a guarantee, as does Fire Blast. <laughs> I, I really want a Fire Blast here. I think it's the safest thing. Um, and I don't lose all the HP. If I lock into Fire Blast, you go Milo, probably. Uh, no matter what I lock in, I think you go Milo. So I, my only hope here, I think, is to have some HP. So cool, we are Scarf and we get the Fire Blast to hit, so we kill Annihilate. Awesome. Um, we have one spike up. There's only three Mons left. Uh, Milotic, that's burned. Gudra, and Arboliva that cannot Terra. So... Fire Blast or... Well, Fire Blast is great for two of those. Okay. As expected, here comes the Milo. Uh, I don't think we actually got any information on this Milotic, besides that it came in, got burned. Uh, I would love to keep Golurk just for Arboliva, but I don't think that it's worth it. If we go Moon right now, we do not do nearly enough damage. So I think we do have to swap and sack our Golurk, unfortunately. Uh, if this is a, a good Milo set, um, this might just be the end right here. But we'll see. Double. Is this into Gudra? Yeah, okay. Good double. Not entirely sure the point. Uh, we know you have body press and knockoff. I would assume you probably go for the knockoff here. Uh, and if your defense is what we thought. Ooh, it looks like I don't kill with EQ. That is a bummer. Hmm. Probably Sap Sipper as well. Do I need my scarf anymore? I don't think so. I think I have enough investment that I actually kill everything anyway. So I can swap. This is a really risky move, but I think we need it. I think this is going to be a knockoff. And we don't need the, the choice scarf anymore. We will be faster than everything else regardless. There's no way that my Lodic has enough speed to outspeed my very, very fast. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and that did, what was that, 40? Thirty-nine? Thirty-nine from knockoff. Okay, that looks right for probably no investment. We can earth power here. Hmm. I think we Terra and Earth Power. Oh yeah, because I'm not locked into a move anymore. So I might as well go for the thing that's the strongest. So we're gonna Terra and Earth Power. How cool. Uh, thanks for give, getting rid of my choice card. Um, according to my calc, this should do about 
maybe a little less. Uh, but I don't know what you're going to go for anymore. Because uh, a body press when I'm Terrid really does not do a lot. Ooh, okay, that's way more spidef than I thought. Ooh, the spidef drop is really, really big. Body press, 129, so that did uh, 30... Six ish, or er, thirty four. This is interesting because it doesn't look like nearly as much defense investment as I was expecting. So I have truly no idea what they're going for. Um, based on the amount that we did, is that assault vest? No, it's probably not assault vest. That's almost too much. Or er, we we know it's leftovers. Um, so they might have been, that looks a little bit better. And at minus one, uh, this probably kills. Uh, I don't see any reason not to go for it because we are faster. And here goes the Arbeliva. Take some damage. Do all right, get up some seeds. So we know it's Sub and Giga Drain. Oh, Grassy Seed. Oh, cool. Okay. So no item anymore. Uh, with no item, I think my Fire Blast does kill. So if we hit this Fire Blast, and we do, let's go. Okay, our Believer goes down. Uh, this actually puts us in a phenomenal position because the grass is up. Our Milotic, like Terra Blast for Milotic, uh, goes hard as hell. Um, we'll do, you know, e even a like super bulky set. I, I would assume with Marvel scale, you're probably okay. Never mind. We're, let's not even worry about it. We don't even have to worry about it. Um, so it's not minus one anymore. But I really don't think that you have anything for me. Like I, I don't know why I wouldn't just go for another Earth Power. We almost get the KO. Another Spadef drop. Not that it's going to matter at this point. Dragon Claw, that's not going to do anything either. I mean, this might be just a clean sweep at this point where we, we EP a couple times. And now that I'm looking at it, that, uh, that Spadef drop actually does matter. We do have Terra Blast. Okay, and Gujra's going to go down. Oh, Heatran is putting in work here. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness. They, I'm so glad I predicted that knockoff because realizing that we didn't need the Choice Scarf anymore uh, has completely opened us up here. We, we got the best of both worlds, right? We got the, the Choice Scarf Fire Blast to kill Annihilate. Uh, and now this is going to go down to a Terra Blast. I think that's going to be the final four kills from Big Tony. Does this get the KO? It does. GG. Uh incredible team wow uh great prep from my opponent that that annihilate set was scaring the hell out of me and i think our believer was really good too um the mammo swine the scarf mammo swine caught me completely off guard but we managed to pull it back and get the 3-0 victory uh that spike was huge the whole time and and heatran just really needed to show uh how much power it is and how how badly i've been misusing it so uh, nice to get a, another win on the board here. We're two and three now this season, so we still have a chance if we can maybe win out and win some big games, but uh, good to get another win up in the board. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.